الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما برحبة في الله in this time of great trials and tribulations for Ahl Sunnah وغير Ahl Sunnah for the Muslims in general it reminds me of the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam it was narrated that he, the, one of the Sahaba, رضي الله تعالى عنه مجمعين, said, خط لنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خطا. So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, he drew a line in the sand, and he said, هذا سبيل الله. That is the path of Allah. ثم خط على يمين and then he drew one on the a line on the right and one on the left and he said he said this is the various paths he said and at every end of every one of those paths is a shaitan and what we learn from that hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is affirmed for us in another hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam in which he said if tarakatil yahood ala itha wa sab'in firqa wa if tarakatil nasara ala thinatain wa sab'in firqa wa sa taftariku hadhi umma ala thalatha wa sab'in firqa كلها في النار إلا واحدة كلنا من هي يا رسول الله قال من كان على مثل وما كان عليه وأصحابي اليوم. so the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the Jews would break into seventy one sects, the Christians into seventy two sects, my ummah into seventy three sects, all of them in the fire except one. they said who are they يا رسول الله he said those are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. أهل العلم the people of knowledge they clarify, although there is some difference of, of opinion, but the most sound view is that this Talatha wa Sabain, this 73 sects, are those within the fold of Islam. Those are uh, actually those who split and divided into groups, into sects, like the Khawarij, the Qadriya, the Jahmiya, the Mu'tazila, the Karamiya, the Maturidiya, the Ashaira. Uh, Murjia, all these various sects and groups uh, that divided from the Sabil al Mu'minin, they divided from the path of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And depending on the bid'ah, depending on the mukhalifat, shows to the extent of their deviance from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. And as we've talked about prior to this, that bid'ah is of different types. There's bid'ah mukaffara. So there's bid'a, which takes a portion out of the fold of Islam. For example, the one who is worshipping a grave, the one who supplicates to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is praying, uh, for example, to Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam, or praying to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or praying to the moon, or praying to the sun. This is a bid'a in ibadah that takes a person out of the fold of Islam. It is kufr and it is shirk khalis, the major shirk. And then there's bid'ah, ghayr mukafra, which could be a light bid'ah, or it could be anywhere on the scale that doesn't take a person out of, a fold, out of the fold of Islam. And so this hadith, the hadith of iftaraq, the hadith of uh, the 73 sects, as some of the uh, ulama mentioned, is referring to those that are within the fold of Islam. That means that they have divided. Yes, their minhaj, their methodology is calling to bid'ah and calling to mukhalifat and khurafat and deviance. But they are still Muslim. They're still our Muslim brothers in that sense. But they have deviated from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they require correction. They require uh, correction based on the ilm or fiqh or basira, knowledge, insight and wisdom and so I wanted to say this to make sure that we always go back to the most 
important asl. And that is the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in order to determine what is correct and what is incorrect. So that requires ilm. Man yiradallahu bi khayran yafaqahu fi deen Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him fiqh, He gives him understanding of the religion. And it takes fiqh fi deen to be able to distinguish truth uh, from falsehood. And to not get dragged into the various fitna that we see, for example, amongst Ahlul Sunnah even, and the fitna between the groups. Because if you have ilm, then you have some tools to adjudicate and some tools to navigate through the fitna. And you can always go back to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and taqallah mistata'atum and fear Allah as much as you can. And we ask Allah the Almighty Azza wa Jal to bless us with ilm al-nafi, ruskin tayyib, wa amin al-mutaqabbin and protect us from the fitna that is continuous and that harms us. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.